Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins episode 30 with me, Tagore. In this episode, we're going to continue talking to Morrigan. That sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Just how long ago is this? Many centuries, before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osen the Bard, and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osen who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. He sold his wife to another man? The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. She spoke with spirits or demons? Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see, chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Which she never invaded? Or he never defeated her. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. How is it that Flemeth has survived so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other were it lucky enough to find her. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters. I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that, too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? The chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Often it seems her bitterness has coloured her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. An interesting story. Thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. My mother died a long time ago. Ah, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. 
Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. And you are cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes, by Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. You really had no trouble with them? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Surely more would have followed. Sometimes. Eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Do you still think that was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? You're probably right. <laughs> an enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okay, that's it for now. Um, we'll talk to our party members later. Map. Straight ahead. And Galaf Party and Venture Fourth. Morrigan. Indeed. Indeed. Eliana. Yes. Alistair. Brazilian outskirts. So I'll just peek. I'm gonna do soldiers peek first. Here we are, Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Admit it. You were lost a couple of times. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Uh-huh. Bah! We're here. So, I'll follow you about, from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Coward. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their calibre certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey! <laughs> Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. 
Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Whoa, what was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard a Norwegian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. The world is full of mysteries. Yes, Warden. New screenshot? What do we have? Undead. Looks like something wants to die again. Oh yeah, you have ice weapons on. Threaten, I don't use. Stick it down the end. Some blood. <laughs> Where are you going? Dual weapons. Now it's ready to Repost. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Check the statue. Oh, Morrigan leveled up. Incoming! More dead things. Get your weapons ready. Now is better than later. Rip off! Get to the ladder so you can get off my back. Stabbing, stab, stab. Your weapons ready. This part Let's see what you're made of! <laughs> you guys should be able to take him. Antique Warden Crossbow. Wow, that's a really nice crossbow. Too bad I never use crossbows. Morrigan. More points into magic. Um okay. Crushing Prison, one of the one of my favorite spells. Tactics. Ah, oh, you really need to put, get some better tactics. I'll probably have to use it myself for now. Head upstairs. Anything over here? Nope. Save it here, and I'm going to end it here before we go in. Thank you for watching. Let's play Dragon Age Origins Episode 30 with me, Tagal. I hope you'll join me next time for Episode 31.